Doctor, we've talked about toxins before, and one of the things you're speaking about is how they can target the immune system. Can you discuss that and, and how those relate? Well, the environmental toxicants uh, affect several organs in the body. The one, probably one of the primary ones, and the ones that shows up most commonly in, in practice is its effect on the immune system. And it does a very interesting imbalancing of the immune system whereby the ability of the white cells to fight off bacteria or viruses diminish, so people end up with more chronic viral or bacterial or fungal infections. And on the other hand, while that ability is suppressed, it, over is, it is overreacting with allergies and autoimmunity, where the, the white cells actually attack mm -hmm. your own body. Um, and this is an interesting imbalance that we've seen for, I mean, for 30 years I've, I've, I've known about it. I was taught it by other environmental medicine docs. But now we understand the physiology behind it. Now there's enough articles out there in the medical literature that we know exactly what gets imbalanced. And the rates of asthma and allergy have just been skyrocketing. Autoimmunity is skyrocketing. And every couple of years there's a new infective agent that people are saying is the cause of everybody's problem. And in my time in medicine, I've seen many of those uh, supposed culprits uh, fly through, but it's all a reflection of an immune system that can't fight it off. Um, so uh, that's where what we see. Now, many docs will just look at, you know, you got autoimmunity, well, let me work with that, and they'll miss the fact that, oh, they have a 20-year history of allergies. Um, so what I was teaching today is trying to help docs recognize the full picture that shows up because immunotoxicity progresses over many, many years, decades. And you have to learn to see the flow. It's not just allergies you're looking at. Oh, they had allergies before, but now they're coming to you for autoimmunity or for this chronic viral infection. It's all part of the same cause. The cause is immunotoxicity where the immune system has become unbalanced because of the weight of environmental toxicants on it. Now one of the mechanisms that, that occurs through is a depletion of glutathione. Um, if you do anything to deplete the glutathione, the same imbalance occurs that we know all these toxicants do. And by golly, they have to be the same toxicants that knock out glutathione. What a coincidence. <laughs> Um, so it, it's, it's a huge problem for all uh, clinicians. It makes treating it harder if you're trying to do just immune support instead of dealing with the elephant, the toxic elephant that's on the immune system. Mm -hmm. you know, I, I, I got into this medicine because I believed in the body's ability to heal itself. And then the, the, one of our main principles is totally cause and treat the cause. So what is causing this immune system to be unbalanced. Let's go back and treat that. How tough is that when you said like, it could take decades for some of the symptoms to Oh, it, keep, it keeps themselves. progressing yeah. over decades. So they'll start with allergies, mm -hmm. uh, chemical sensitivity, and then that's what will be going on. And then 20 years later, they got rheumatoid arthritis or Hashimoto's thyroiditis. So um, it's, a, it's a progression of a same disease, and that makes it difficult for many docs to, to recognize because they're used to just looking at, well, what is your chief complaint, mm -hmm. rather than looking at what is the, what's the picture here. Mm 